Today we're going to be replacing the alternator on my 98 Ram 2500. If you guys want to watch this video, rotate your phone to the right. If you're on YouTube, you don't have to rotate. Start off by opening the hood. So let me show you guys what my truck is doing. So when you go inside, start the truck. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but the headlights are pulsating. That's a clear sign of a bad alternator. The first thing we're going to do disconnect the battery you don't want the battery connected when you're messing with an alternator make sure you take both sides off positive and negative i also need to clean these really good next thing i'm going to do i'm going to remove this just to give myself some extra room you don't have to but i want to next step is loosen the tensioner by turning it clockwise like that then you can just pop off the belt next you're going to want to remove the dipstick tube uh bolt so that that's not in the way and you've got two bolts to actually hold the alternator into place. One up top and one down the bottom. Now I'm loosening all this so I can get those wires back there first. I don't want to have to try and sneak back in there. So I'm just removing the bolts ahead of time so I don't have to go and do that in the back. Now for the bottom bolt, you're going to have to get an open in the wrench or a ratchet wrench. Put it on here and twist at the same time because this does have a nut on the back. Then it's going to take a little bit of finagling to get it out, but you should be able to get it out. Took a little bit of wiggling, but I got it out. Now we're going to disconnect all this back here. All right, so with a little bit of finagling, I got the alternator out here sitting on the ground. Let's see. Feels okay, but as you can see, if you look inside there, it's rusty, so it's probably going... This looks old, it's rusty. This thing is definitely, it's not new. So we're gonna replace this. All right, so I just stuck this back in here. We're gonna close the hood. We're gonna go to the parts store. Yeah, that's how I figured. Okay, so we got the new alternator mocked up. I'm going to connect all the wires, and yeah. Okay, so it's been a few hours. I had to run around grabbing parts, but this was bad as well. This is a voltage regulator. It's aftermarket. That was what was really causing the blinking. And then I also replaced the belt because I bypassed the AC because this was squealing, and the AC doesn't work anyway, so I bypassed it with a different belt so that's good so all right we're gonna give her a start up here we go all right and she's no longer blinking cal turn the headlights on she is no longer blinking so that was a job well done all right slowly but surely we're getting this truck back together Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace.